All right, you guys, welcome back to some more Xenoverse 2 mods. Today, we have another character coming straight from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. We now have Orange Piccolo. Massive thanks to Jun Brian for creating this preset of Piccolo. We also have Potential Unleashed Piccolo. This one was created by Gamer Chief. I actually already showcased this version of Piccolo. He's extremely cool. Of course, I'll have everybody linked it down below in the description. But if we combine this Gohan Beast created by UE Killer, and orange piccolo we basically have dlc 15 mods and i'm not sure if you guys have heard the news by now but we are going to be getting a new announcement tomorrow the official dragon ball twitter page tweeted out that you know enemies are coming for piccolo stay tuned for tomorrow there's going to be a brand new announcement you know tweets like that i'm pretty sure they're going to be unveiling gamma one and two if not both at least one of them at least hopefully right that's what it seems like but going back to today's video, the model work is absolutely stunning. This is probably the best orange Piccolo mod out there. I mean, look at his jawline. We got the Super Saiyan antennas. I really do like the orange shade that Brian went with. Yeah, he's extremely buff and massive. So cool. As for his skill set, we have Raging Dragon. Because as y'all know, Shenrod did unlock Piccolo's potential. And he also... Oh, he actually doesn't have the the uh orange symbol on his back Ooh, okay that's very interesting so yeah <laughs> anyways we also have scattered blast planet impact maximum charge nano machines colossal uppercuts super explosive wave and the awoken skill become a giant now i'm not sure if the awoken skill is going to work because i did equip that myself this is the original transformation and obviously this is a modded character so we'll just see without further ado make sure to drop a like i'll greatly appreciate it and let's hop straight into it i'll finish this fast and there he is chad piccolo over here <laughs> my man's is bulky hey take a look at that in the top left corner we have the character portrait as well why does that look official <laughs> orange piccolo over here i know not everybody likes the name orange piccolo but i think it's fine because this is literally piccolo's first transformation that's you know different from his normal self right appearance wise well potential this is the second transformation because potential unleash he kind of gets that lime green color uh but yeah piccolo did name the transformation so that's <laughs> it i do like it right oh not everybody likes it but let's just go ahead and Cover the moveset real quick, starting things off with the light combo string. Oh, 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 I'm seeing some Majin attacks, some Kid Buu. Oh, we have Namek Punch as well. The super attack. Hey, yeah, I love when modders uh, integrate the super or ultimate attacks within the moveset. So cool. But yeah, look at this right here. I'm definitely seeing some strike attacks from Majin Buu or Kid Buu, right? There's that. <laughs> so cool. Let's go ahead and use the heavy combo string. Oh, yo, very forceful. This moveset suits him extremely well because in the movie, he wasn't like moving fast. He was just like, it's just like a tanky character, like brute force, right? I mean, he literally knocked out Gamma 2 with one punch, which is why I went ahead and equipped Colossal Uppercut because it's like a one punch ultimate move. As for the triangle light combo string, let's check this out. Ooh! Wait a minute. What is that move called? Is, it, is that the evasive or is that a super skill as well? <laughs> I'm not too sure, but it's this one right here. Oh, what the heck? I prolonged it that time around. Hey, let me go ahead and try that again. Oh, 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 oh. I dropped it. <laughs> uh, take a look at the aura as well. Is this aura coming from Frieza? Golden Frieza? I think it is. First four lights into heavy. Oh, we do that nice knockdown. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First five lights into heavy. One, two, three, four, five. First try, boys. Hey, yeah, right there. Ooh, some more moves coming from Majin Buu and Kid Buu, right? I mean, this part right here. That. <laughs> this is definitely coming from Kid Buu. And then we go straight into the... Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? Technical difficulties over here. <laughs> What's going on? How do I back out? Hello? Uh... Alright. <laughs> it ruined my combo string, man. Let's go ahead and do that once more. Oh, machine gun blow! <laughs> yeah, very solid moveset, right? Let's go ahead and use the first 
six input of lights into heavy. Oh, it's so that just goes straight into the heavy combo string. And I'm pretty sure we can link that into the heavy light combo string as well. So let me go ahead and perform that for the one time. Oh, oh, yep, there it is. The heavy into light. Oh, ultimate move. Scatter blast. <laughs> I went ahead and equipped this just because it's orange and it kind of like seeks out the opponent, right? Kind of something similar to Hell's On Grenade. Would you look at that? Raging Dragon. Oh, you know, rapid orange color scheme strike move. Very, very solid. And once again, Shenron did unlock uh, Piccolo's potential. So I feel like this is coming from Shenron, right? <laughs> the ultimate power boost. Oh! As for Planet's impact, uh, let me go ahead and use this on the ground or uh, when Go Goku's on the ground. You know, just heavy, tanky skills for Orange Pickle, right? Uh, we also have Maximum Charge. Nothing too fancy with that one. Uh, Nano Machines, of course, because when Piccolo first transformed into Orange Piccolo, Gamma 2 was striking him. And this literally represents that. Look at that! Let's go! <laughs> Orange Piccolo! I believe it's been said as well that Orange Piccolo is as strong as Goku and Vegeta, right? Of course, they never clarified, you know, we don't know which form they were talking about, but I'm pretty sure they were talking about uh, Blue Goku and Vegeta, right? Or maybe even Ultra Instinct Goku and Ultra Ego Vegeta could be totally wrong because I believe the movie takes place after the Moro arc. I have no idea. Make sure to correct me down below if I'm wrong. But yeah, Nano Machines, Gamma 2, no chance. Colossal uppercut! <laughs> Just because, again, he did one shot Gamma 2. Even though it's more like a, you know, a downward punch attack. This one's an uppercut. And yeah, that's basically it for the moveset and skill set. Let's go ahead and use Become Giant. Hopefully this works. Hey! Wait a minute. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Yo, we're Giants in mini form. <laughs> Yo, we are glitched. All right, so this doesn't even work. Wait, can I grab him? Oh, we can grab him. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. <laughs> oh, full power. <laughs> uh, this is quite funny. All right, let's just go ahead and use. Uh, wait, do we still have like the key pass attacks and stuff? Oh, so we can use the normal skill set? All right. Very cool. <laughs> I'm ready. Come at me. Of course, Gohan Beast is way stronger than Orange Piccolo, but, you know, they're just sparring for now, right? They're just training. Oh, we still get all the power blocks. I don't even care if you're the strongest in the universe, Gohan. Oh, my gut. <laughs> Yo, utilize your ultimate attacks. I dare you. Yo, look at that aura. That's definitely movie accurate, if I do say so myself. <laughs> it looks extremely cool. I mean, I think we need some... Oh, wait, no, we don't. I was going to say we need some blue, but... Uh, yeah, his aura is extremely unique. He has, like, three different, you know, styles to it. Of course, the purple right around the body. And then the blue right above the purple aura. And then the original white potential unleash aura above everything else, right? It's extremely unique. I really do like it. I mean, to be honest, I'm not even sure if- Oh! Yo! Ultimate special beam cannon, but he failed. That was so cool. <laughs> Watching it, uh, you know, on this side, my point of view. Oh! He went ahead and, yo, he just used the cell max move right there. <laughs> that did damage. <laughs> Let me go ahead and use some of my moves. Oh, you got a stamina. Oh, yo, he evasive that. That was cool. Yo, Gohan's a master at when it comes to evasive maneuvering. Yo, can you not? I'm out of stamina. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I dropped it. No. All right. I dropped it again. Come on. <laughs> All right. Fifth time's the charm, right? Or however many times. I don't even know. Oh, he probably blocked me. Let me burst the back. Oh, that did mad damage. <laughs> I got some distance. Some distance. 
All right, I need to go ahead and use Raging Dragon, and then we're going to finish things off with Colossal Uppercut. Oh! Yo, punch me right in my chin! No! <laughs> ah, he's too fast! I can't keep up! Oh! We got him! <laughs> Alright, I need some key for my ultimate move. It's also at close range, so I have to use it at the right time. It's a close fight, not gonna lie. No! No! <laughs> ah, he actually got me with that! Beast Kamehameha! <laughs> GG's, GG's. I tried to use my ultimate move, but I failed. <laughs> of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. Massive shoutouts to UE Keller for Gohan Beast and to Jun Brian for Orange Piccolo. Stay tuned for tomorrow. DLC 15 news. Can't wait for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.